What's up everyone, welcome back to some more Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 And today we will be playing Episode 4 uh, So I just got done playing Episode 5 of Guardians of the Galaxy And it's wrapped up to be an amazing season Now we are on Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, we're on Episode 4 out of 5 Next episode will be the final one, I'm excited And it's kind of sad because now Guardians of the Galaxy has ended, which made me sort of sad a bit, and now Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 will be ending. I'm not going to give my thoughts on the entire game until Episode 5 comes out, then I'm going to give my thoughts before I play Episode 5. But as of right now, let's get into this. So let me stop stalling, let's go. Alright, make sure we're on the same save. Here you go baby, let's go. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, let me turn this up just a bit. The Wait, hold on a second. A villain who can become uh, anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some. Join him. I didn't necessarily Others join him. It's more like working undercover. Even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. One crush time wondering why the red is radar <laughs> freaking narrating this. Wouldn't it make more sense for like Jesse or like the admin? I don't know, someone who's actually like not minor. I mean radar is a good character. I mean not uh, let me I'm just gonna be one hundred percent honest. Radar is pretty cringy, but I mean He's a decent character, at least. He's he's alright, but I mean, like, he shouldn't be narrating the entire freaking story. I feel I still feel bad about leaving. Uh, Don't the, worry, the llama there. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only. Ah, uh, oh. uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Yeah, Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Oh, Jesus. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first oh my God. created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. So you say. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse well, I have than to I imagined. To get that. Oh, what's going on? This is the room where he killed Fred. Oh. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison.
Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? Oh my god. That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order. <sighs> oh. Oh. It teleported right in front of us. It would be oh, great no. if I could go one day. Just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So It'd be awesome if I could go one day without having to be suffer cringe from your voice, Time to move, guys. Yeah, it'd be a good Bruh, that's so overpowered how you can teleport. This giant in the making freaking Not in the eyes, Don't look at its eyes! Wait, so I thought if you look in an enderman's eyes, it attacked you. So I didn't know that you. Oh. Go, go. Ah! He's like Mantis, except that he's a human being, so he should be more freaking smarter than this. Thanks. Dismantling the tower. Oh my god, this way you got the skin could even get more not Minecrafty. I don't play Minecraft that much, even I know this is not how this works. Yeah, yeah we should have taken fall damage from that. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. <sighs> You guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. White pumpkin flashbacks. Oh, Toto Games presents. The association of Mojo. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. This is something that'd be made for Halloween. That thing is so overpowered how it's so giant but it can still freaking teleport wherever it wants. That's insane. It'd honestly be freaking scary if that was in the real game. That would be terrifying. Is this place safe? I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's Home? What happened? What? What happened to it? Are you okay? No, you're right. Th th this place looks... It looks nice. Put your teeth away. I know what it looks like. This isn't right. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here now, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket and, um... Uh, it made him think of Luna. Uh, Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Hmm? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> ah! Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! She can't throw She's something at you unless it's a snowball. I if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. It's just a bed, Zara. You can get another one. No sheep anymore, Jesse. No wool, no wood. Oh, I forgot you can't go to sleep unless you have a bed. Oh. Yeah, I'd be very cranky if I couldn't go to sleep. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this. If you help us. I doubt that. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Up. Go. I'll see what I can do. Oh boy. <sighs> These spires just never seem to rest. Alright, let's quickly kick some butt up. Oh. Sucking at this right now. Why are we sucking at this? and to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh great, just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! The boss, did I swear. Creeper no some phases. Here we come! Oh, I love minecart uh, rides. Jesse? Oh, that's uh, even better. No, we made eye contact with the Enderman. Sorry. God, they are. No! Shouldn't have brought you here. We 
It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Oh my god. Everybody jump! Alright. Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA oh trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Yeah, we're kinda stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> Maybe. Depends, really. Yeah. Oh, these cat this looks so painful to be around. We could sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way I down here? I can sniff out guy? a bad character when I see one. You lost? <sighs> We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> How is we actually trying? Maybe we help you. Maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! The first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here though. Yes, Oops. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Splash. Mm. Oh. No deal. I ain't doing that, boy. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Oh. Jesse! No. Jack. Eh, tried to tell ya. He's not dead, right? Come on, far too, far too, you got plot armor. You have plot armor, far too. Are you serious? Oh my god, is Jax really dead? I swear. I didn't think you. So stupid. God is so annoying. Come on. But I didn't think I would, he was going to die. Yeah, I'm about to see if I can honestly change. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can change the script. I don't care what any of you guys say. You guys be called cheating. I don't care. Squishies. Oh my god. Have I have my my fault, yeah, I'm really legit sure pissed right now. No, Jesse, this isn't on you. Oh yeah, it's completely you said on it me. It was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. 
I thought this was gonna be a freaking kid friendly game and was gonna do that crap. I'm sorry, Nerm. Come on. What's up with this season and killing off characters? First you killed off freaking uh the warden, Guess now you killed off Jack. Out. This season's killing off characters, man. In the first season they didn't kill off anyone. Not even the main villains they didn't even kill them off. This one is killing everyone off. Strangers. Yep. I don't care about you guys. Strangers! Binta! What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Oh, man, I love trivia. You do? Oh, snap. Yes, it's so fun! Flexing so those pretty muscles, taking your mind off the incredible mode. misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. My name is Benta. All right. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place uh, is weird. Why can't you just barge in and fight anyone who comes in there? Like, I uh, just to Kent. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means... You will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. I know you miss him. Mm. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. I... You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. You are, wow, you are really cute. Hmm. Oh, man. 
and you are a serious fetch artist. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. But he sounds so creepy when he says it. I was back out. Aha. Nice. There you go. Hi. Um. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you. His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. And why uh. I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. That was awkward. If all these people want to know about Fred. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. We don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Wow. I wonder what the answer for this puzzle is going to be. This puzzle is going to be so complicated, dude. I have no idea. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that would happen. Oh, oh yo, that's such a waffles. tough. Waffles, come oh, back. waffles. Come back. Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Uh, sticks all around, white block in the middle. Got it. I think that I'm pretty set for the trivia competition. I'm learning a lot about Fred. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Yeah, boy. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. <sighs> Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent, and we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse. That feeling of intimidation, totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent, be my best friend. May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I yeah. thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Oh. Well, uh... I... let's, uh... Oh, it's gonna be a disaster. Um, let's go. Why? Why is it? Bruh, I select my item. Let's go. 
Oh, I see. Okay. Perfectly. He has some arms too. He has some arms. I mean, it's not like a painting's right there. How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, Maybe if I have someone to do a big giant for accuracy. boy private. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? I remember this. Now. I remember this. Come on, it Jesse, was you can do lapis. This. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Boom. Well done. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means. But he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very oh, good. Could have asked me that Jesse, question. Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. You boom, I remember. What was that pet's I name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. I... Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. <gasps> Fred didn't birch. play favorites with research. It was birds. I remember. It's birch. You... Uh... Yes. Boom. Yes. Birch was Fred's favorite. Yes, that we go play out. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Go, That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really... 
I don't need your pity prize. Oh wow. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. 